Hi guys, thank you for clicking on this video and coming to my channel. My name is Kate, you can call me Kali, and today I want to bring you a video that is a, a sort of clothing haul. Um, I do a lot of fitness related stuff in my life and I have a pretty significant collection of fitness clothing, so I wanted to show you what I've got and what I think about them and maybe you will like that. So this is, we're going to start off with these new leggings that I got from our uh, roller derby shipment order. So they have my roller derby team logo on them and they're from the brand Bella, which is where we get all of our um, like shirts and stuff. And our shirts are really great and the material in general that they use is super awesome and super soft. Not crazy about these leggings though, like we'll not wear them for fitness stuff. They're not squat proof. Um, they're, they run really small, uh, the camel toe is an issue with these ones, um, and they, they tend to kind of slide down, they don't, uh, they don't hug the booty very well, if you will. So they are, they are comfy, um, but they're going to be more of like a wearing to bed type of legging. Next thing I have in this kind of random pile is a pair of shorts. I've had these shorts. For so freaking long. These are the Under Armour. Uh, I don't even know what the name of this style would be because again I've had these for probably three years or something like that. But they're fantastic quality. Under Armour is a really really solid brand. I think most people probably know that. The next article that I'm really excited about was another merch shipment through my team. So this is my home team logo. These are Ododos brand, um, and I really love these. They're super thick. The material is really, really nice. Um, they've got pockets, which is a big theme in my roller or in my fitness clothing. Um, I like to keep my phone in there. I like to keep my mouth guard in there. The only issue I had with these. Um, because I did wear them on the bout during the bout on Sunday and they held up really great they were super comfortable but I could probably size down I got a medium because I wasn't sure of the sizing and just to be safe um, I'd rather go a little big than a little small and I could definitely size down on these they would like uh, slide down a little bit and I'd have to kind of hike them back up but otherwise super super pleased with that I also got the same uh, brand in shorts that I'm really stoked on because these are a longer short which I'm typically a fan of and then the last thing I have in this section is honestly these leggings <laughs> that I also got from my I got it from a teammate not too long ago and uh, so my home team's theme is like the army or it's where they call the Russian roulettes so we're all camo and green is are our colors not a huge camo person but I, I keep these around uh, because they're they're on point with the theme I have no idea what brand they are oh they're from skins so I think they're derby skins um, if you're out there in the roller derby community you know what that is I'm sure um, but they're good they're not like super squat proof or anything they're mostly for uh, for show I guess we would say so I don't have much to go with in terms of upper body clothing um, I typically wear like scrimmage shirts or just t-shirts or like random tank tops I've collected through the years um, when I go to the gym or when I'm coaching or practicing or whatever but I do have a few pieces that I'm pretty stoked about um, this piece is from just strong I was a brand ambassador for them for a little bit and kind of let that fall by the wayside, but they are a genuinely good brand. This material on this sports bra is super thick. Um, it really holds you in. It's comfortable. I, I really love this bra and I will keep it for a long time, I'm sure, and get it worn out pretty well. This is another top from Just Strong that I love. I mean, who doesn't love that, right? And the material is like a super thick mesh material, so it's really, really breathable. Um, but it's not like overly constrictive either. So it's nice and it's pretty flattering. It's form-fitting. I like it. 
And then my last top would be this one from Airy, which I actually got at uh, Go Goodwill not too long ago. So it's got some contouring here on the front and it's got the same type of contouring on the back. So it's really flattering. It kind of like hugs you in and it is crop top, but it comes down, I would say, just about like an inch or two above the belly button. So it's a nice height. I can't, I like the, the length of this one. We've got the uh, thumb holes here, which I guess not everybody is a fan of, but I like them. Super thick though still, um, super comfortable, good for like warm ups or I like it for if I'm doing uh, coaching or something and I wanna, I'm not gonna be getting like super sweaty, but I'm gonna be wearing my elbow pads and my gear and stuff. Um, I really like long sleeves for when I'm coaching. All right, so let's talk about our Gymshark. I think by large, Gymshark is probably the largest collection of leggings that I have, and I have gotten rid of a lot of my Gymshark stuff in the past. Um, I feel different ways about different things with Gymshark, but let's just talk about what ones I have that I can speak directly to. So these are, a lot of these, I, it's been a while since I've ordered Gymshark, so a lot of them are discontinued, I think, at this point. Like these, I think, maybe are. These are the ARC jersey leggings. So they have got this stretchy band at the top, um, they're not high rise, they're normal length. They've got the Gymshark logo at the bottom, and then again right here. Um, you can tell I've had them forever. This is pretty worn out at this point. All the letters are coming off. Um, I really like these. They're not anything super spectacular, but they are really comfortable. They attract hair and fuzz really easily though, and I'm not crazy about that. And I don't love wearing them with uh, like crop tops because I don't like this waist necessarily it's not as flattering as like the high-waisted ones are but these do tend to be some of my like go-to's uh for both working out and just for like uh you know athleisure looks right i'll wear these with like a sweater and like a cute cami underneath or something and it's a nice easy thrown together look these ones uh are not discontinued these are the dreamy leggings i have the cropped version uh, again, nothing too special about these. They do have the little pocket in the back, which I actually adore. My gym um, requires you to give your gym card to them, and then they give you a key for your locker. So you have to carry this key around with you the whole time, and I love to just stick it in this little pocket back here. Um, they do cinch at the waist pretty tightly. Like, they really suck you in, and they kind of cut you off a little bit. Um, so some people aren't too crazy about that. It can be uncomfortable at times sitting down and things like that but in general I like these high-waisted ones um, they're super super soft they call them dreamy and I don't have any other leggings that are this kind of material super soft and super thick um, so if I know I'm gonna be doing like a really really intense workout I probably won't wear these because they um, they keep you quite warm <laughs> as do these next ones, which are the Dry Sculpture, which I think they aren't making anymore. I'm not too sure. They have the same thing, the pocket in the back. The waistband is very similar as well. It's that high-waisted, and it really kind of like cinches you up here, which again, a lot of people aren't huge fans of. It's not my favorite thing about them. Um, but these do have a little bit of side contouring running down the leg here. They have just the small Gymshark logo up at the top, which is honestly one of my favorite things about Gymshark is that they don't have like, on most of their things, they're not like Gymshark, you know, making me into free advertising and stuff. They have the butt contouring as well, which everybody likes a little bit of booty contouring, you know, and uh, pockets, of course. This is always gonna be a big selling point for me. These ones are not very deep, but they're still good. And so these are super thick, um, I will wear these like if I'm running errands or something I typically don't wear these to work out and I'll wear them a lot when I'm coaching um, if I'll be like cold or I'm not gonna be working super hard when I'm coaching um, but they're still comfortable and easy to move around in so I actually have two pairs of this of these because I wear them frequently for things like that this is definitely discontinued these are the fusion cropped and I, I definitely don't see these on the website anymore. 
super high-waisted. These come up past your belly button. Um, it's a weird material. Um, they, like, you really have to kind of peel them off when you sweat in them. Uh, they'll really, like, stick to you. But they're super flattering and they're super comfortable and they are um, super dry. Like, you don't get, uh, they don't, they're not super thick at all. They're very uh, stretchy, like, nylon material. They have the, like, contouring down at the bottom here, which is a mesh. These are mesh cutouts, which, again, make them very cool to wear. So, uh, I like wearing these for hot yoga, um, but story time, I had to sew these back here, which is why the butt looks a little bit different, because during one of my hot yoga classes, they ripped right up the seam in the back. The whole seam just ripped open. Um, it took Gymshark a while to get back to me and get me returns, because I actually had another this next pair actually ripped as well when I ordered. I did a big like Black Friday order and a bunch of the products in there were defective. Um, they did eventually refund me and send me the correct, like another item um, that didn't end up ripping. So I don't know if they had a faulty batch during the sale or something, but was not thrilled with that, especially for the amount of money that I'm paying for Gymshark. I mean, Gymshark is not a cheap brand by any means. I think everyone knows that. Uh, so I was really unimpressed with that. Same with like, um, I, I think that they kind of tend to start to wear down and I'm one of those people that uh, my clothing can't be high maintenance. Um, I'm gonna wear it once, maybe twice, and then I'm gonna put it in the washing machine with the rest of my stuff and I don't wanna have to like wash or care for a piece of clothing, uh, you know, in a special way. I'm just just not that kind of girl. I don't got, I don't got time for that. My clothing needs to be uh, as durable and flexible and malleable as I am. But anyways, these I still are one of my favorite pair of leggings, despite that uh, horror story. And then this final pair, these are the Sleek Sculpture. And I also love these. I get a lot of compliments on these. I got them cropped as well. Gymshark logo here on the front. Gymshark logo here on the back. And then you've got the booty contour. We've got leg contour with mesh cutouts on the side that goes all the way down. Um, this material is like very, it's kind of similar to the dreamy materials, but a little bit thinner. It's more like cotton. Um, and then it has the mesh cutouts in it. So it makes them really breathable and they don't stick to you the same way that the, uh, the fusion do, I would say. Yeah, these are like a nice combination between the Fusion and the Dreamy, um, which I think is probably why they still sell them. I think these are still pretty high sellers. And pockets. Again, I told you that the pockets were a big deal for me. They really are. Like, leggings with pockets is, was a total game changer in the female fitness world, in my opinion. Okay, next I have another sort of random stack. These leggings were like the first pair of actual gym leggings that I ever purchased and they are the C9 champion leggings from Target so they've got pockets which I think was probably honestly the reason that I bought them um, there's a little bit of booty contouring a little bit of leg contouring down the side here and these have just kind of been my rider dies um, at this point <laughs> I've had them for probably three years as well and at this point, they're getting a little bit worn out. Um, but I still absolutely love them. And I wear them frequently. Um, they're just a really slick, like, nylon-type material. Um, super breathable, super comfortable. They don't really stick to you like some of the other leggings. And then these were kind of the same. I, I don't think I bought them, like, on the same day, but very shortly after. These are the So Yoga High Rise Leggings. And I got these because I really liked the little mesh cutout down at the bottom here that you can see. So they have this little mesh cutout right at the ankle and a little bit of leg contouring going on here. And they're definitely like a cotton material. I would be willing to bet that they're mostly made from cotton, um, but super comfortable, really good like lounge pants. I will wear them to work out in as well. And then my two newest pairs of leggings. Do I have enough? I don't know. I mean, to be fair, I wear leggings every single day. I wear them, I go to the gym five days a week, 
and I wear leggings underneath my work clothes uh, to help keep me warm in the winter and then I'm usually wearing them at practice afterwards and then typically I'll wear them when we go out on the weekends like you'll maybe find me in jeans like twice a month I would say so it's my staple item and I did just clean a bunch out I couldn't say goodbye to a lot of these um, recently I was introduced to the world of airy I went shopping for my birthday and found these airy leggings and let me tell you so this these are a capri high-rise they are super soft super comfortable really thin I would say the material is like it's not like any of these other ones that I have at all maybe sort of similar to the roulette ones that I just got but oh man these are some of the most comfortable leggings I've ever owned uh, where I've worn them to work out in I've worn them to go out in and they're super cute like I love this color I, I try to at least like expand my color profile um, same with these ones this is a different style these are full length and pockets high-waisted um, super comfy these are just a little bit more they're quite a bit more thick than the red ones but still oh boy these are something else they have a really thick band at the top here so it's a little bit thinner here and then up at the top where it holds you it's got this really thick wide band so it doesn't do the thing that the uh, um, that like the dreamy leggings or the sculpture leggings do where it like cinches you it lays nice and flat doesn't create any lines and this color though I'm obsessed with this color it's this like green marl. It's this kind of uh, forest green. Ooh, fire. These are fire. So that concludes uh, my like fitness gear that I have currently. Um, but as a last little like treat, I received a package from about Betty's, which is a roller derby subscription service that I had never heard of until they reached out to me um, and I looked into it and it seems like a really cool company. Um, they basically take products from a bunch of different like roller derby retailers, so people that make gear and clothing and all of these other things. Uh, if you're in the roller derby community or you've ever been to a roller derby like tournament or event, you'll often see like all these vendors. Um, so there's a big world of roller derby marketing. Um, I think that it's kind of a niche er, niche sport, right? So a lot of the things that we do are so unlike everything else. Um, so having brands that are very specifically marketed to roller derby is actually a fantastic idea. Um, so yeah, they wanted to send me something and they, I said, okay, I'll check it out. So I'm excited to see what they sent. And it kind of feels like it's clothing, so it's on. Uh, it's on brand with today's video and I am going to the gym in a couple hours here and if there's clothing in here I'll wear it to the gym so that I can check back in with you guys and give you a full report on what I received All right, So first thing is definitely a pair of leggings and uh, you know how I was talking about like uh, Expanding my color profile of my clothing just now. I feel like these probably are gonna help with that <laughs> So right off the bat, these feel awesome. They have a thin band up at the top, so I think they're gonna cinch me in the way that uh, the dreamy leggings do. Um, but they are like that, oh, it's like a bathing suit material almost. I want I call everything nylon, so okay, it's polyester and spandex. Really thick band at the top, and it says, the top says Bout Betty's. And then on the actual shorts, it says, oh wow. My girl gang is badass. My girl gang is powerful. My girl gang is a jammer, pivot, and three blockers. Cute. My girl gang is empowering. That's so cool. I'm super, I'm super into the, uh, oh, we can skate hard. My girl gang trains hard and skates hard. Very cool. I'm super into that message. I love that part of roller derby. The fact that, uh, that women empowerment, right? Super down with it. All right. 
Oh, it looks like we got more colors in here. Wow. This is so sweet. These are really, really, really cool products. Oh, wow. Same with the color profile. Like, I think these will help. Okay, so these ones are capris. These, I... I'm obsessed with. I love the yellow and the galaxy. Like, how cute. These feel like um, they're the same material. They're that, like, polyester spandex material. And they've got the booty contouring going on. All right. So now I'm going to have to pick and choose which one of these I'm going to wear to the gym today. All right, guys. That is it. Um, I want to talk about the belt betty's shorts and leggings again um as i suspected they do have like a very small band right here that kind of cinches you in but it's not nearly the way that the dreamy and sculpture leggings do so i'm really happy with that um they feel super breathable and comfy i'm gonna stick with wearing these galaxy ones to the gym today and let you know how they perform there. So I'm gonna go to the gym and I will check back in with you guys later. Hi guys, I am just finished up at the gym and the leggings did do really well. And I also found these in my backpack uh, that I had forgotten about. These are the Gymshark Flex shorts uh, that I also have and I really like those too. I keep them in my backpack in case like they're just my backup shorts, you know? Everybody needs a pair of backup shorts in their backpack. Um, but yeah, the uh, the Bout Betty leggings did really well today. Um, they were comfortable. I didn't feel like I had to hike them up too much. Um, they were really flattering. Uh, yeah, overall, I was really pleased. Hi guys, so I am home for the evening. Um, like I said earlier, the Bout Betty leggings, um, clearly really, really nice quality leggings. I've been wearing them all day. It is now 7 p.m. I put these on at about 10 and, uh, haven't felt like the need to change out of them and into something else, um. Uh, but yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you found this informative and helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye. Mm -hmm.